Hello everyone, welcome back to Nated Engineering. We are still on hydrostatic forces, fluid mechanics N5. So now we want to look at how do we calculate the hydrostatic force of a flu of an object that is completely submerged in a liquid. Remember the exercise that we were dealing with, it's an exercise where we have the top part of the object being aligned with the surface of the fluid. Now it has changed. We have a an object that is completely under water. How do we deal with that situation? So now when it is completely under water, we are going to say our centroid is here and our H bar, we are going to take it from this point, which is our centroid to the surface of the fluid or of the water and the point where the force is acting which is we said is the center of pressure will be at this position our h bar we're going to take it from this point to the surface of the water and then the formula to calculate our h will change now will no longer be the formula that we used where we said from this point to this point it's one third of the height and from this point to this point it will be what two third of the height we are no longer using that formula now we are using a formula to calculate our h bar which says moment of inertia times sine squared theta divided by area y bar all plus y bar where our moment of inertia it's given by for this let's say this it's b let's say this is d and this is b will be given by b d cubed divided by 12 with an si unit of 4 to the power m to the power 4 and the moment of inertia for a second is given by pi d raised to 4 divided by 64. SI unit, same. The only thing that is changing here, it is the formula to calculate for the center of pressure because now we are not taking our center of pressure from this point, but we are taking our center of pressure from the top which is the surface of the fluid by which this uh, this object is submerged under so this leads us to having moment of inertia in our formula and we have to calculate for that moment of inertia and these are the two formulas to calculate for the moment of inertia so now let's do an exercise to see how do we apply this concept this it's an exercise from my test book so we are going to do an example from my test book which reads as follow. A square sluice gate which closes a circular opening 0.4 meters in diameter is hinged 1.2 meter below the surface of the water as shown. The center of the opening is at a depth of 1.6 meters below the water surface. And then the questions they say, number one, number A rather. Find the hydrostatic force. Number B, find the minimum force that must be applied by the clamp, which is 0 0.8 meters below the hinge in order to keep the gate water tight. So this is the diagram that they are giving to us. We are given this structure and we are, say, we are told that this is the opening. This is where the gate opens. We are having hinges and we are having a clamp. So now they are asking us, question number one, calculate the hydrostatic force. Hydrostatic force doesn't change. Hydrostatic force, hydrostatic force, it's given by rho, gravitational acceleration area times y bar. We have Rho of, of water, we know it's 1000, and we are given this one, we know 
the area which we are dealing with is the area of the circle and we will be dealing with the surface area since the water will be pushing in this direction affecting this opening therefore our area will be given by pi divided by 4 times 0 0.4 squared which is the diameter times the value of y bar which we are given as 1.6 i'm gonna put it as a times 1.6 which we are going to get 1972.418 newton that is our hydrostatic force and then they say question number b the minimum force that must be applied by a clamp which is 0 0.8 meters below the hinge in order to keep the gate watertight so what we are going to do is we are going to do that beam throw that beam we are only going to consider the force that is applied okay let's just do it like this from here is the water surface from here to here it's 1.2 meters and then here this is where we have our our hinge this hinge and this hinge sorry this hinge and this hinge this is where we are having them and then this is where we are having the clamp now what we want is where exactly is this hydrostatic force are uh, acting on we know this will be the position the center of pressure which is where the hydrostatic force is acting and then to get h bar we now have a new formula to calculate h bar which is given by moment of inertia sine theta divided by a times y bar plus y bar and then we are going to say our moment of inertia it's given by since we are dealing with the moment of inertia of a circuit it will be given by pi d raised to 4 divided by a times sorry divided by 12 64 64 and then this will be our si unit so we substitute pi the diameter is 0 0.4 raised to 4 divided by 64 which will give us the moment of inertia is 0 0.00126 meter to the power of 4. So now we can take this to that formula and calculate our h bar. Our h bar is equals to the moment of inertia is 0 0.00126 times sine. it is 90 degrees we are going to say it's 90 which will give you one that is why you can just neglect it if you want and then the area the area is pi 0 0.4 that's the area of the circular part times what is our y bar our y bar were given as 1.6 and then here it will be our y bar it will also be 1.6 and then i got that our h bar is equals to 1.606 meters from the surface from surface now we come to our beam We know from here to here is what zero comma it's one point six zero one point six zero six and then we know if this is zero it's one point six zero six meters from here to here it's one point two we are going to say this minus 1.2 will be left with 0 0.4 um, 
zero six meters which would be from here which would be from here to here we minus from this we minus this this value and we were left with this which is 0 0.406 and from our original uh, original diagram i forgot to put this dimension they gave us our edge as 0 0.8 since we have 0 0.8 and we know that from here to where the force is acting is 0 0.406 we can get the dimension from where the force is acting to the bottom which will be 0 0.394 meters from here to here and then now we can calculate the force that the, cl the clamp must uh, apply the minimum force of the clamp since we are having the hydrostatic force of the of the water we're going to take moment about what about the hinge because we want to get the value of the clamp so it will be from the hinge what is the distance between the hydrostatic force and the hinge it is 0 0.406 times the hydrostatic force which is 1972.418 it's equals to what's the distance between the clamp and the hinge it is 0 0.8 i'm gonna put it here 0 0.8 and that is one clamp this is what we want to calculate for therefore the force to the clamp it's equals to 1972.418 times 0 0.406 divided by 0 0.8 which will give us 1.002 kilo newtons and that is what they have asked us to calculate and that is basically how we go about solving such a question i will see you on the next lesson